Yellowstone volcano's devastating threat, scientists warns of explosive 40-kilometer eruption. A Yellowstone volcano eruption would be devastating for the globe. This is according to volcanologist Janine Krippner. She warns uh, the latest uh, of how an explosive ash cloud could be sent over 40 kilometers up into the air. The Yellowstone volcano, dubbed a supervolcano, in case it has a super eruption, it will be capable of inflicting global devastation with a volcanic winter uh, during a huge eruption, something that's happened several times in its past and could happen again in the future. In fact, scientists have recently found that there were two other super eruptions besides the 2.1 million years ago and 1.3 million years ago, and um, that they also devastated the uh, worldwide climate. Now, um, locations below this, it's located below, below Washington, Montana, and Idaho. The area is constantly monitored by USGS, the uh, Yellowstone Volcano Observatory for Science such, uh, of such an event. Dr. Krippner, who is a volcanologist at the Smithsonian Institute's Global Volcanism Program, J uh, GVP, revealed just how likely this chilling situation uh, is uh, to actually happen. She spoke to Neil deGrasse Tyson on Star Talk. As you said, a supervolcano is basically a name that was made up for a volcano that has, at some point in the past, produced the largest style of eruption. We know that there's about 20 uh, supervolcanoes worldwide. I believe there's more coming out every so often. We have one in um, Germany, the uh, Lassen volcano. We have other ones as well in the United States that have had super eruptions but are not on this list of 20 super volcanoes. But anyway, a super volcano basically name that was given to a volcano that has had a super eruption producing the largest style eruption. That does not mean it's going to do it again. It does not mean that every eruption is that big. In fact, in fact, most eruptions are much smaller, she says. It's kind of a term that is the monster under the bed of volcanoes. So for a supervolcano, she says, when we have this volcanic explosivity, VEI, and it goes from 1 to 8, and 8 is a super eruption. For VEI 8, you're looking for a volume of magma erupting that's around a thousand cubic kilometers, so that is a lot. Dr. Krippner revealed currently the supervolcano is not in a state anywhere near what's needed for an eruption. And she said, luckily for us, it's very, very hard to get that amount of magma out of the ground. In fact, to accumulate that much magma in one place where it's an eruptible state is very difficult and takes a long time. She says, we know there is this big magma reservoir under Yellowstone, but less than 15% of it is actually liquid, and a lot of it is actually crystals and solid rock, so it's kind of locked up in that system, she says. As she explains, you need at least 30% for that to erupt, so there's not even enough eruptible magma, as far as we know, under Yellowstone. Caldera eruptions are not always explosive. They're not always big catastrophic events. They can be slow. Dr. Krippner did send a warning over what could happen in such an event if things change in the future. She says with these VI-8 eruptions, they are very catastrophic, very explosive, and they can produce ash over 40 kilometers up into the air, and it can cause a few years at least of global cooling. A lot of the heaviest stuff will fall out within kilometers of the volcano, but you can still get very fine glass, and it's not safe to fly around this stuff, so it would be devastating. Not even, of course, safe to breathe it. A lot of the heavier stuff will fall in out with the kilometers within the volcano. And uh, if it happens, which at this point there is no evidence that it's going to in the next hundreds of years, it would be horrible. As she says, but it's very unlikely to happen. In fact, over the last 50 eruptions of Yellowstone, much have been uh, smaller lava flows. Okay, but yet, yet again, we don't know what a volcano will do. There are also uh, volcanoes that have been... Uh, classified as extinct, that uh, could be dormant, or even the extinct volcanoes, for example, the ones on the Kamchatka, Kamchatka Peninsula of Russia, were taken off the volcano list 
and they were found to be full of magma, and the villages around them had to be evacuated because of the uh, threat of um, volcanic eruption. This is by Callum Hoare and Express UK. Thank you for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.